What's going on YouTube fam? Before we go on a high adventure, we have a small quest we must complete first. This guy right here has to be taken down. Y'all, I hate taking trees down, especially this one. Like, it'll be positioned perfectly in the afternoon to give my house some shade, but something seems like it's eating on it. I trimmed it up a lot last year, um, and I got rid of a lot of the dead, I thought, but like, it is just like actively dying now. In fact, look at this. Look at that. Little big old holes in this. I cut this off last year and discovered like these holes in the wood. I don't know. I've even got like holes down here. Look at all those things. Somebody who knows more than I do, let me know. What do you guys think? What is there a fungus eating this tree? Is there a beetle? I mean, look at this. Like that limb was alive this spring. That whole limb was alive this spring. So dead, 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 dead. Got a little bit of dead in there. Like, I just hate to cut it down, but at this point, like, it's just looking so haggard. And it's kind of an eyesore. And if I want any chance of winning Yard of the Month in this neighborhood, which is basically my life's goal at this point, um, she's got to come down. And we're going to replace it with a palm tree. As always, ladies and gentlemen, safety first. We've got our glasses on. we got gloves. We've got our safety Crocs. There she goes, roaring to life. part all right ladies and gentlemen apparently nowadays you can identify as anything so for this final trunk that we have standing here i identify as a lumberjack we're gonna take it down the old-fashioned way i'm excited first we get rid of the gloves because lumberjacks don't use gloves i think we spit in our hands i think that's what lumberjacks do i saw it in the looney tunes anyway here we go right about there oh yeah Oh yeah, we're going to be through this thing in no time at all. Uh. 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 <sighs> okay, y'all. So, this thing is getting ready to go, as you can see, at any moment. So, just for safety purposes, we're going to go ahead grab the chainsaw and uh, finish this off. That way we can control the fall a little bit here. That way, if you will. There we go. Hooray! Look at that. Oh my gosh. Look at this. Look how like, like water rings. This thing's all like falling apart in the middle. Look at this, all that's just crumbling. Look at that, that thing was rotten. That thing was gonna come down at some point in a good, a good wind. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it just goes to show what a good ax and a little lumberjack mentality can do for you. I think our work's done here. Let's go fishing. What's going on, YouTube fam? We are back on another high adventure video. Ah, first island that we're at. Guys, I think the next couple of days are gonna present quite a few challenges. First off, check out this weather. Like, we've got really low hanging clouds. It was kind of like a mist coming down, not like, like 10 minutes ago. We literally went from like 94 degree weather down to like 80 and it's very cool out right now and i'm not sure what that's going to do to the fishing also the other thing i noticed is that the water's dropped like two feet here at the lake and i'm really curious to see how that's going to affect the fishing because typically those water fluctuations like that um it always throws a monkey wrench in 
some way. So we've got the water dropping, we've got the temperature dropping, and now I have to forage for my own bait for the next two days in order to catch the food I want to eat. We've got plenty of challenges ahead of us, I'm thinking. Try the boat up so it doesn't go floating away here. Something like that, that ought to do. Alright, got our gig and spear. So what I'm hoping to do on these islands is find my bait. Like grubs, bugs, maybe we'll find like a snake, some frogs, I don't know. But the first thing I'm noticing here though, is this place has had a fire. Look at this, look at this. Look at, everything's just dead. Goodness, look at all the char on the ground. Like, this had to have been pretty recently cause like, there's not a lot of under, like not a lot, a lot of the undergrowth has grown back. I mean, look at all back there, all that's dead. It's like a slow burning fire through this whole area. Hmm. I'm not so sure if this is the, <laughs> the best island to be starting on looking for our bait. I mean, as far as I can see, like this whole island was on fire at one point. It goes all the way back. What do we have here? Yeah. Old catfish would like to get one of these at some point. It's a nice size one too. Can't really salvage anything off of that. Ah, look at this tree. Look, see, look, these pine needles are still green. Pine needles are still green and this whole tree's falling down. I don't know if it was from the fire or what, but, oh yeah, look at the base. Look at that, dude, that whole thing just got burnt up. I don't know, maybe the lightning struck this tree or something. Look at that, that's all hollowed out down there. This whole thing went up. In fact, is it hollow all the way through? Yeah, looks like it. Wow. All the way up. Then it busted off up there. Fell down. What do we have here? Some bones. That's definitely a catfish skull bone right there. I know that for sure. Well, seeing plenty of signs of catfish. Oh, yeah, here you go, more bones. It's a good sign. I'm seeing a lot of just like little bugs. I'm not seeing any like big grubs or anything or worms even. I don't like this island. It's just so burnt up and I'm just not, not seeing a lot. I'm not getting good vibes if you will. Got plenty of islands around here. Let's go ahead and hop in the boat. Go find somewhere else. Ah, some of you might recognize this island. This is where we spent three days eating only what we could catch with subscriber baits. In fact, if you guys wanna see that video, a link probably just popped up in the corner of this video. Oh, there'll be a link down in the description. I feel like I'm visiting an old friend here. I've got my gloves, got my bucket, cause I don't know what I might be picking up. Oh, what are this? What are the odds that they're gonna be worms in this empty worm can? Any? Looks like there were at some point, but they all died. Dang. I thought we find a worm, like, could you put that in a video? Like, who would believe that? Hey guys, I found a worm canister with worms in it. People would be like, yeah, sure you did. That would have been epic though. Hmm. You know, if anything, I'm seeing some rocks out here. Might be a good place to go look for some crawfish if we can't find anything on land. More catfish bones. I'm taking that as a good sign, hopefully. Hopefully we'll find some later. <sighs> Mostly seeing a lot of ants and roly poly still. Not seeing like the grubs and stuff I was hoping to find. At least not yet. More ants. Check this out, y'all. Like some sort of fruit tree. What is that? Don't look like they're ready, whatever they are. Dang, that <laughs> would have been legit. Finding like fruit on an island. Nobody tell me what that is. Is that one of those like Japanese fruits or something like that? Nothing edible though, not yet. 
I gotta find some bait. I'm getting hungry. All right, y'all. So I spent a good amount of time flipping over stumps and all kinds of stuff on the island. And I'm just getting the same thing over and over again. It's all just like ants and roly polies. So we're gonna go ahead and take to the water now, see if we can find anything down there, some crawfish, fresh, some of these freshwater clams maybe that aren't busted open. And uh, I don't know, maybe uh, whatever else, mainly the crawfish is kind of what I'm thinking. I gotta get some kind of bait. Here's my tackle box, here's my tackle box. Check this out. This is all I got. This is all I got. In fact, I don't have anything in it. Well, I have this old bait, but that is empty. All I have is my terminal tackle, and that's it. So we got to get our own bait. We've got no jigs, no soft plastics or hard plastics of any kind. Guys, we got some bait and it's getting a little chilly out here. I'm not gonna lie, it's not uh, it's not that refreshing feeling as it was even a day or two ago. Here's what we got. Here's what we got. Look at this, check these out. These are like, what are these? Like freshwater, what, freshwater snails or something like that? I got a bunch of them. And then we actually got a decent amount of crawfish. Look at all these guys. Got some nice ones in there too. I'm mainly looking for the tail meat to be able to use, but I don't know, maybe we throw one of these on hole. All kinds of stuff we can do with these. But that is the start of the bait. I'm glad we went ahead and decided to go diving. I'm really interested to see if these uh, little snail things work. I'm guessing just bust open the shell. Uh, Cause if those work, there are a lot of these down there. That would be awesome. We're gonna go ahead and just toss everything into this. We can have fresh water running through it and hang it over the side of the boat. Come here, buddy. We almost got enough for a little crawfish boil, actually. Go ahead and put some water in there for him. There we go. I'm gonna tie a rope to that and we'll just have that hanging over the side. But nice, all right, quest number one complete. We've got some bait. We got a fishing rod ready. We are going to get out, I think. I'm gonna start, oh, cheapers. What am I doing? What is this, amateur hour? Turn that out there. Let's go ahead and fill the boat up with water, why don't you? Anywho, let's, oh my gosh, I, what, what is going on, man? What is going on? 
What are you doing, Mike? What are you doing? This is what happens when you haven't eaten anything all morning. Anyway, we're gonna start with, huh? Give me one of those. I'm gonna start with one of these little snails here. Let's see. How do I crack this thing open? I should have grabbed a rock. I don't know if I just. Oh, jeepers. No, no, don't go overboard. Um, hmm, there's some rocks over there. I might have to go grab a rock really quickly. Let's do that. Don't go anywhere. Little rock, little rock. Got a little rock over here for me. Something, somewhere, somebody. Here we go. Somebody down here. Maybe a little bit bigger. There we go, that looks good. Okay. Let's try this again. All right. We're going to crack this guy open. Jeez, I am just having a time right now. Just stay there. This little bugger's tough. There we go. What do we have? Big old sluggo inside. Throw the shell overboard. Let's get the juicy goodness on the inside out here. Yeah. That's a nice little marbly piece of meat right there. Got the foot. The foot's very hard on this thing. Don't know if... I want that on the hook. Cut the foot off. Let's toss that over. Look at that, that's what I want. See that, it's like nice and white. That'll attract the fish. I think what we're gonna do is just cut that right in half. That's enough meat right there. Feels good and rubbery. That's be good for staying on the hook. Now, let's get our little drop shot rig here. Good little snail on. I've never caught anything on snail that I can think of. I think that's what this is. I'm just assuming. It looks like a freshwater snail. Put it on the hook just like that. I'm gonna just bounce that on the bottom. Just like that. Cool. Let's see if this works. Let's see if our foraged bait brings in the piggies. Oh, there's a bite already. Felt like a little tap. Oh, there's a bite, yeah, definitely. Got him, got him. On the snail, on the snail. Oh, look at it, come on, come on, come on, come on. There, oh dude, that's like an eating size brim. That's an eating size brim. Look at that. Yes. That might be lunch right there, ladies and gentlemen. I'm just trying to get some brim so we could do like some catfishing later and stuff. That was the idea to kind of make our way up the food chain. But dude, that we throw that on the grill right there. We throw that on the grill. Come on. Come on. Let's go. All right. Let's get all this stuff out. Let's fill up our little live well with some water. Keep this bait alive. Maybe one more. Awesome way to start the foraging right there. That's a good sized bluegill. All right, let's stop admiring it though. Let's get down there and see if some more. I wanna get some for some catfish bait for later on. Cause if we can hook into a big old catfish, that feed us a long time. I got it, got it. It's not very big, that's okay. That's okay, that's okay. That's good bait, that's good bait for later. Yes, when he left the bait, that's awesome. We would be tempted to throw that one on hole right there. No! <laughs> hey, you're supposed to stay in the live well, buddy. In the live well. Come here, there. There's another one right there, right there. Oh man, not another bad one. That's an eating size one. Yes! Woohoo! All right. Oh, look at that. That is a good size bluegill. Dang it. This is lunch. This ain't bait. This is lunch. Throw them in there. It might be bigger than the first one we caught. Let's go. Let's go. We got something here. Here's a bite. Come on. Got him. Oh my, this is a good fish. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, okay, okay. Wait, maybe this is a catfish. Oh, maybe we got a cat. Maybe we got a cat. Oh, catfish for lunch. I was waiting for tonight to catfish. Dude, this is totally a catfish. This is totally a catfish. Come on, baby. Come on. 
I'm only rocking four pound test line on this thing, so we gotta go nice and easy. Come on up this way, kitty. Little catfish action on the freshwater snail. Little escargot. Catfish is living the high life here. It's like, man, I don't eat this very often. I don't know if they really do actually, because those things are in those big old shells. Oh, no, 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 okay, all right, all right, it's okay, it's okay. I got all day. I'll sit here and fight you for the next 20 minutes if I need to. 30 minutes, hour. This would be a big bonus, man. This would be a big bonus to get a cat. Oh yeah, it's a kitty. Oh, it's not a bad cat either. It's not a bad cat. It's not like the little one pound, one and a half pounders that I typically get when I'm fishing for brim. This looks like a three or four pound cat. Looks like a channel. Come on, tire yourself out. Oh, come on, we need this. Come on, baby, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes, yes. Oh my gosh. Oh, dude, that's like a five pound catfish on four pound test line. Oh my heavens, beautiful, beautiful channel cat. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah, right in the corner of the mouth. Come on, let's go. <laughs> oh, yes. Got rusty McGee pliers here. Everything held up, the circle hook, the line. Pop that right out just like that. Just gonna drop them in our live well, man. Oh, yes. I'm gonna just set it right here for now. Let's set it right here for now. Sorry, Brim. All oh, that cooler is looking sweet. Oh, man. Just this little piece. Just that's it. Just took that little bit of snail. Oh, man. And the rate we're going, y'all, the rate we're going, we're going to be able to save those crawfish. We're going to be able to save those crawfish for like a little crawfish boil. Got crawfish. We got, we got catfish. Got some brim for bait. I still want a few more brim though. I'm kind of at that point, I'm on a high right now after catching some fish. <laughs> it's not like, let's just keep pushing. Let's keep pushing. Let's get some, let's get some bait stocked up, some fish stocked up here. And then, uh, and then we can sit down and eat. Got him. Got him. That feels like a brim. It's like a little brim. Oh, that's a little shell cracker right there, dude. That's a little shell cracker. Nice. I'll take that. Left me my bait. Goes in the bait bucket. We're doing it now. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, throwing a knife around, too. Probably not the best idea. Got him. Another one. Another little one. This is perfect. This is exactly what I want right here. Exactly what I want. Getting them all on the same piece of bait, too. That's phenomenal. Another little pumpkin seed. Oh, wait, he ate my bait. Well, that's okay. You know what? That's fine. I think we're going to take a break, y'all. Let's get some food. I'm getting hungry. So we've bled our catfish out here. See what I pulled up on that four-pound test line. The reading that keeps consistently coming in is 482. So I don't know how much blood a catfish like this would have in it as far as an ounces go but yeah close to a five pound catfish on four pound test line we're gonna go ahead and get it cleaned up oh oh like i just like this this is awesome ah yes yes morale booster look at that that's called nuggets right there Fresh catfish nuggets. There you go. First food I've had all day. It's about three o'clock in the afternoon. I'm like at that point where I just like feel weak, you know, when you haven't eaten anything, I just almost feel a little jittery. I just feel super lethargic. Mm. Open that right there, gives us a little energy. Keep pushing through the rest of the day. I feel like I can fall asleep right now. That's really, really good. I'm probably just gonna end up eating the whole, the whole catfish both sides. I need the protein, I think.
Oh. Oh. oh, guys, the amount of energy that I now have after eating, like it's night and day difference. Like my mood's changed. I feel way more energetic. I ate that whole catfish. I ate it all. It took me about an hour to cook it up in little bits, let it cool, eat it. It's about four o'clock in the afternoon now. Uh, still a little breeze going, still, still overcast. I do see a little bit of blue sky up there though. Biggest thing is I don't want it to rain tonight, but we do have a few bridges around in the area that we can kind of escape to if we need to, but I feel better. Let's go chase down our next meal, I guess. That's probably what we should be doing. All right. I want to try something here. We're going to get one of our crawfish out. Get that guy right there. Perfect. Perfect. Throw him on the deck. Get a little extra fresh water in there for him. What we're going to try is we're going to try tossing a crawdad out there on a bobber. See if we can get something to hit it. There you go, just like that. Have him suspended. Oh, look at that. He's even, he even trying to like swim around. Ooh, I like that. I like that. When I was down trying to get, uh, collect these crawfish actually, um, I did see a largemouth down there. Uh, he was cruising around because I was stirring up the bottom and everything as I was foraging. So you never know. I think fishing these rocks on a day like today where it's been cloudy, I don't think these bass necessarily going to be super deep. So. Let's see if we can't get us a largemouth, catfish, striper, shoot anything. Anything cruising the shallows, I think, could hit a crawfish suspended. Yo, my bobber's acting strange. Am I hung up on something or something eating it? That was suspect. Maybe it was too shallow. Oh, hang on, everybody. Hang on, Grinchy. Now, woohoo! All right, I give up with this crawdad. I've just not gotten anything. I've been fishing for about an hour now, and nothing. It was worth a shot. Let's maybe see if we can find some more bait for tonight. Not a bad brim right there. Not bad at all. Definitely supper size. Come in. Good one. Good one. Oh, this feels like a good one. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. See, eat size right here. Ah, now I hooked him in the side of the face. Hooked him in the side of the face. That's why I felt so good. Man, there's some good brim right around here. And at the rate I'm going, if, even if we don't get any catfish, we'll have some decent sized brim to eat on. Alright, check out our live well here. No, you're still breathing. What do we got? We got 2, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Looks like 11. 11 good brim in there. And about three of those, like this guy right here. Look at that. We might cook that up for supper right there but we've got plenty of bait for tonight this should set us up for a good night of fishing hopefully we can get some more eating fish because uh well all i have really are about three four good eating size brim and even that is uh that's kind of stretch stretching it to be honest i mean any other time that would probably just be a nice brim but uh we're probably gonna have to call that supper anyway i think what we're gonna do is i think we're gonna go ahead and head to our catfishing spot about two miles away from it still a pretty good breeze right now but the bigger thing i'm worried about is really the rain 
and we've held out so far today and had no rain but I mean just looking at the horizon we'll be really really lucky if we don't get any rain we'll just kind of see what happens I guess keep it on the horizon and cross our fingers <laughs> that's all we can do it doesn't look promising though I'll be downright honest with you Right now I'm cleaning the three bigger bluegill we caught. There you go, just like that. It's all you need right there. Eat all that up. Here we go. Got a nice big chunk of shell cracker right there. Throw it out. Got our nav lights on. It's gonna be dark probably in about 30, 40 minutes. Guys, 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 we might be getting a bite right here. We might be getting a bite right here. Come on, come on, is that my catfish? It's hard to tell because I've got both my anchors out, but it's still quite breezy, so the boat is moving around a bit. That feels like a fish. No, I missed him. That was a bite. Ah, that was definitely a bite. Shoot, it's our first hit. First hit of the night. We're loosening the drag, so if anything takes it, I'm hoping to hear the drag peel is kind of what I'm listening for. It's too windy, too bouncy for bells. Yeah, I'd say that's done. Looks pretty good. Just gotta hold it up in the wind for, <laughs> so I don't have to blow on it. This is that Chicago steak seasoning. Steak seasoning on brim. Oh, there's a hit. Oh my gosh. What, what? You guys heard that? You guys hear that, that drag? Is that it, really? Oh man. Dude, something just popped it. You know, could be gar too. Could have been a gar. Man, something just absolutely annihilated that. We'll have to check the bait in a second, but I gotta get some food here first. All right, y'all, we have pulled the fishing lines in. I was sitting here while I was watching the lines and not getting any bites, um, thinking about what could I do? And then it dawned on me, I remember seeing crawfish in the shallow water at night. So we've pulled the fishing rods in. We're gonna go to a couple of these islands around here and we're gonna hop out of the boat, take to the water and see if we can find any crawfish. Cause I still have all my crawfish that we caught from earlier. And if we can't get a catfish, at least we may as well try for a crawfish boil. So better than nothing. Here we go. Seems like I need to find some weeds or something like that. Oh my Lord of mercy. Look at all the cockroaches, dude. Woo. Good knit. Feeding on a turtle. Y'all, I found a water snake right down here. Definitely a water snake. Not very big. Did I get him? Oh my gosh, I just picked him right up. I was just going between my boot. There he goes. Ah, he's not very big. If you were bigger, I'd have considered eating it. I've eaten water snake before and it's solid fried up, but as a little guy, I don't even think it'd have been two feet long. Here we go. There's a crawfish right there. Let's see if we can net him. No, no, no. Got him. Ha! Huh, look at that. That's a nice size craw too. Just right up in the shallows, right around where this, uh, this, what you call, oh my goodness, there's a shirt. That's a nice shirt. Someone, somewhere around here is running around topless, I guess. Anyway, back to the crawfish. That's a good sized crawfish, man. We're gonna throw them in the bucket. I'd like to find like 15 or 20 if I could. It'd be awesome. We've already got, oh, there's another one right there. 
we've got like 15 or so in uh oh did i miss it where'd he go where'd he go got 15 in the cooler already come here you got him ha -ha! another one awesome that's two got him Y'all, I think I have just spotted a nice sized water snake. Yeah, that's definitely, well, I'm assuming it's a water snake. Looks like a water snake, but it looks like an eaten size water snake. Dude, that's a big one. I'll bet that's three feet long. What would we do, like pin the head? Look at this thing. Look at this thing, dude. That's a big one. Definitely a water snake, not a copperhead. I got confused one of the first times I saw one of these guys. Thought it was a copperhead. It looks very coppery, but definitely doesn't have the markings of a copperhead. Oh my goodness. All right, y'all. Because I didn't have the gig with me, I went ahead and decided to go ahead and let the snake swim free. But, I did get a nice mess of crawfish. Not bad, not bad. Definitely got to f add some to the coffers, if you will. I think I, added, I think I counted 10. So, we should be able to have enough for a little bit of a boil. I'm still hoping we get some catfish tonight. That was the other reason I went ahead and decided to go ahead and just pass on the snake. Now I feel the rain coming down a bit. I mean, it's not really heavy yet, but it's it's enough to keep me awake. We'll put it that way. It's enough to make me sit up and kind of just monitor what's going on. It's like 11 o'clock at night already. Date me. Wait, Brennan, will you date me? I'm trying to figure out what that says. I think it's, I think it's Brennan, will you date me? I can't tell what it says at the end. Anyway, <laughs> here is our setup for the night. Went ahead and decided to duck under a bridge. Um, got the green light out. Hopefully attract some bait. I already just saw a gar swim right by. That was actually pretty cool. We're tied up to the bridge, two anchor points. So the breeze can blow um, and it's not gonna matter. And the biggest thing is we're out of the rain. So I'm happy about that. One rod set, rod number two, set and ready. Awesome, bells on. I think it's time for lights out, ladies and gentlemen. Oh. Oh. Well, hopefully the next time I'm talking with y'all, it's because a bell is going on. Cross your fingers, because I kind of hedged my bets on the night fishing, uh, and we're doing that now, but definitely not in the spot that I wanted to. <sighs> well, I don't think I have anything else to rattle on about. I guess I'll catch you guys in the morning, or hopefully later tonight, like because the fish is on. We're getting a bite on this one. We're getting a good bite on this one. Good bite. Oh, look at that. He's taking a line. Yeah, there we go. We got him. We got him. There we go. Come on. Come on. Keep the line tight. Keep the line tight. 
Come on. All right, we got a fish. Doesn't feel like a bad size. Get some more light on here. Got it on the king cat rod. I think it's a catfish. I don't think it's a, I don't think it's a gar. We'll find out in a second, I guess. I've been laying down, I don't know, maybe 20 minutes, 25 minutes. Oh, yes. That's not bad at all. Good channel, cat. Good channel. Oh, come on, Nick. Come here, come here. That's just me knocking it around. Yes, yes. All right, we did it. Ha! We got one. Oh man, that makes me feel good. Oh, it makes me feel good about tomorrow. Yes. There we go. Ooh, that's a nice, probably six, seven pound cat right there. Awesome. Oh. <laughs> more catfish for tomorrow i think what i'm gonna do is we're just gonna throw them on a string it's like it's like almost one o'clock in the morning i'm beat and i don't really feel like bleeding them out and then flaying them and putting them on ice they will do fine on a stringer for now <sighs> awesome look at that that look at the big old mouth on that thing dude good grief look at a super flat head it's not a flat head I like got a big old head on it. That's sweet. Oh man, the bridge produced. Yes. All right. Well, there we go. Back to bed. Oh, good night, everybody. Let's get my. There's a fish, there's a fish. It's right under the bridge. Take the bell off. There he is. Got him. I think I got him. Feels like it. Yep, we got him. We got him. Nice. Feels like another catfish. What do we got here? Oh, dude, wait, what is this? What is this? Dude, this is a flathead. I think this is a, this is a flathead. Look at this. Guys, this is a big flathead for me. My first ever flathead was a small fish. This is actually a good sized flathead. Look at that. Yes. Oh, that is so cool. This is so cool. Look at that. Look at that. That is probably about, I don't know, about five pound, six pound flathead. Oh, that's cool. That is cool right there. I know a lot of people typically get these guys on the, uh, on the live bait, but he, he took the cut. He took the cut. Part of me kind of wants to let this guy go. Like it's just a pretty catfish. We've already got a nice size cat on the stringer. Guys, it's such a pretty fish. And it's my first decent sized one. Look at that. Oh, oh, well, there you go. I was, I was gonna say, I think I'm gonna let him go. We already have a catfish on the stringer. And, uh, and there you go. He just made the decision for me. He said, yeah, I am actually gonna go. <laughs> cool, guys, man, what a night. See what else we pull up. Maybe another flathead, who knows? Or just hit the bridge, that too. Oh, I hit it. All right. Back to bed with us. See you guys in the morning, or potentially later. Good morning, YouTube fan. Top of the morning. Well, we made it through the night. That's good. Catfish. Our catfish is going. I don't know how he got off. I don't know if the knot came undone. I can't tell if he like just chewed right through. He could have. 
What we're gonna need to do that is we need to get out from under this bridge. We need to go find some other spots, some better spots that I, I think are gonna produce fish because uh, I haven't had anything this morning. I'm gonna go ahead, break all this stuff down, and get serious about getting the catfish. This is gonna be a long, hungry day too. All right, y'all, we are back on the fishing. Hopefully, soon to be back on the fish. I've got three rods out now, and uh, it's much calmer, as you guys can see behind me, which is really nice, but we've still got a little light, misty rain coming down. Looks like it's probably gonna be like that on and off all day. We are getting some water heated up. A little crawfish breakfast. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, do we have Cajun seasoning? Oh, we got a little bit of Cajun left. Look at that. There we go. Not gonna be able to put them all in at one time, but put a few. Yeah, that'll kill them immediately. All right, we have breakfast. So while I was letting the crawfish cool, I went ahead and moved to a different location. We spent about a good 35 minutes or so at that one spot. And with three lines out, we should have had at least something, but not even a bite. So up and moved, here we go. There you go. Not a bad sized piece of meat. Mm. Better than nothing. Well, that's a nice sized one right there. Rain's starting to come back down again. There you go. That's breakfast. Mmm. Spicy crawfish first thing in the morning. I bet there are no intestinal ramifications from eating this. Guts are like, dude, what are you doing? <laughs> oh, dear. I'm getting soaked now at this point. Rain started to come down heavier. I think we're going to have to go and take refuge under a bridge. This is so, so aggravating because it's keeping me from fishing the places that I want to fish that I know I've caught fish at before. And uh, it's just really limiting me. I, I I mean, I'm getting drenched out here. It's not sheets of rain, but like the mist has picked up. And it's just really thrown a monkey wrench into all my plans, how I had envisioned surviving the next two days. I think I see a little break in the weather right there. What we're gonna do is there's a bridge maybe four miles that way, a little bit bigger bridge than what we hung out under last night. And it's a little bit deeper as well. At the very least, we could stay out of the rain for the rest of the day. All right, made it to our bridge. It's a little noisy, like that, but small price to pay to stay out of the rain for the rest of the afternoon, and the wind, for that matter. It's quite nice over here, actually. Got three catfishing lines out, all spread out, and uh, we're actually sitting in like uh, about 24 feet of water. There's a good channel that runs to about 30 feet right under this bridge, so. I don't know, with all the pilings and everything, good structure, good deep water, I feel like this is as good a place as any. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it has been a tough afternoon. I am cleaning up the last two brim that I kept for food. I've got two other brim for bait still, but food and bait are running low. go picked clean our last meal both fish got as much meat off of them as I could <sighs> and now we starve Oh, 
tell YouTube fam, we moved out from under the bridge. So I've actually tried two different spots since moving out from the bridge and not even a single bite. We've had a terrible combination of water temperature dropping, outside air temperature dropping, and actually the water level dropping all at the same time. I mean, I don't think it could have gotten any worse as far as conditions, but we technically met the challenge though. We forged for our own bait. We only used our own bait. And I would say we actually did pretty good. You know what? I'm going to announce success. Massive success? No. But were we successful overall? Sure. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me the last couple of days. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. We're going to have to come up with some more challenges. Maybe run this one back. Thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, I will see you in the next one.